Hey, what's up guys? Sandor here. So yeah, here I am protecting the palms like I said I would. Uh, a few uh, a few weeks back I uh, mentioned that I would make a video for you guys uh, once I started this. So uh, this is actually the first time that I've protected anything uh, this size. I usually have just protected smaller uh, palms like uh, needle rapidophyllum hysterix and sable miners um, when I lived in Toronto but nothing at this scale so um yeah it's uh, it's been an experience actually it hasn't been too hard so uh yeah it's the second week of november right now last week we had some cold nights uh minus two minus three so high 20s uh low 30 fahrenheit's uh for you americans there um and uh never affected the palms i mean those temperatures for trachycarpus and the mediterranean uh you know those uh or even the Cordelline Australis over there, those those are uh, nothing uh, to worry about. Uh, it's when you start getting down to minus seven and so that uh, you got to worry. So, And uh, I don't see uh, really that much cold in the future, but I just wanted to get ahead of the game. Being the second week in November, who knows, uh, in two weeks we could get uh, some pretty cold weather. I didn't want to be uh, caught behind and um, been really busy lately so uh i figured i might as well do it on a nice day and uh like i said be ahead of the game otherwise these guys could stay out probably till uh, december so uh anyways i'm gonna get into it right now so basically what i did here was just your basic tp method i wrapped them with frost cloth uh on both these guys um actually it took took me longer to haul down everything than to build these frames so uh I, i've been super busy like i said so uh for me this was just the quickest way of doing it and uh so basically I just got C9 Christmas lights heating up the uh, cold frames here. And uh, instead of a thermal cube, I use a temperature controller. Um, they're a little uh, more precise. You can program it to what you like and that's what I like about it. You don't have to rely on a preset uh, temperature range like the thermal cube has. So uh, that's what I did there. So, uh, and also I have uh, this is a temperature sensor inside. It'll tell me exactly uh, how warm the, the enclosure gets. So the same thing here. I got a temperature control over there set. There's a thermometer and C9 Christmas lights. And again, I just wrapped up the, uh, the uh, palm here with uh, frost cloth. Sorry, guys. So yeah, same thing over here. TP method. Um, Again, temperature controller there and temperature sensor there. C9 Christmas lights, frost cloth, and TP there. So that's it for the large guys. And for the smaller ones, I'm just using these uh, covers for right now. Um, they they actually work really well. Uh, they breathe well, and they uh, with the C9 Christmas lights inside, they uh, they actually keep the enclosure pretty warm. But uh, for those really cold nights, I'll probably throw over a tarp uh, just for a little extra protection. Um, yeah, you never know. I've used these before on sables and, and needles and they work well. Um, never had an issue. So uh, actually keeps it, like I said, pretty warm in there. Um, so the same basic setup here, temperature controller. There's the uh, thermometer and frost cloth and the same thing here. So uh, that's the Mediterranean fan palm there. That's a sago palm there. That's the Washingtonia Robusta, the needle palm, which I wasn't even going to close up, but I thought, what the hell? Um, and then the sable miner there. So yeah, same setup on all these guys. So basically what I'll do now is uh, just cover those guys up with uh, some basic protection. I'm not going to go heavy on the uh, insulation. So uh, I'll uh, just end the video here and then continue once I cover these guys. All right. All right. So... <clears throat> First um, thing I used to protect it is this uh, pretty thick frost cloth here. So I just put it over the frame. Um, put that over each one of these guys and on the quarter line down there. So um, next I'll be putting up some uh, plastic here. Oh, it's starting to rain now. Great. Uh, so this is the plastic I'm using. It's about 20 mil. So it's a little bit better than... Um, your average tarp here um, so yeah it's uh, it's cross laminated multi-layered so 100% waterproof um, as you guys can tell it's uh, it's quite thick so uh, I thought this would be a better choice than uh, a tarp 
probably probably last twice as long too so uh i'm gonna put that over that next and uh yeah basically that's all the insulation i'm gonna use so um i'll do that right now one minute 37 seconds later all right guys so basically i'm done here uh just uh there we go top it off forgot the hat on there so yeah that's it um just wrapped it up with this thick uh 20 mil uh plastic and as you guys know i had frost cloth underneath that so uh, that's basically all the uh protection uh these guys are getting um they're already pretty cold hardy so shouldn't be a problem uh energy wise yeah i mean it'll be a little bit more expensive i guess because uh you'll you'll uh won't be trapping all that heat in like let's say with styrofoam but uh to me it doesn't matter um this is just a lot quicker for me right now in a pinch to do and uh it's gonna stay nice and toasty in there anyways so uh yeah that's it guys and uh yeah just when i put this hat on that's basically just a little extra protection there so uh yeah if you guys got any questions or comments um let me know i always love hearing from you guys and uh we'll uh keep you guys updated as the winter goes and uh yeah, like I said, and these guys here, just some frost cloth and uh, C9 Christmas lights and uh, this uh, plant cover here. So like I said, if it gets really cold, uh, I'll just throw a tarp over that also. So uh, just to lock in the heat there a little bit more if I have to, but we'll see how the winter goes. Let's hope it's going to be a nice, uh, nice winter and not so cold like last year. Uh, that would be awesome in the magnolia here. I am only going to put a uh, frost blanket on here, this guy here, that's it, no heat, nothing else, and uh, we'll see how she does, it, uh, it's a marginal plant here, so it's just an uh, experiment, but hopefully it'll get through, and this guy's still uh, flowering, believe it or not, second week in November, so uh, and the silver maple here, it's just starting to change color of the leaves, uh, you guys can tell some of the other uh, deciduous trees here have already lost their leaves so this guy's always late but yeah that's it guys so uh, I appreciate you watching and like I said if you got any questions or comments please leave them I'd love to read and hear what you guys have to say so uh, with that I will uh, talk to you guys soon and uh, I'll, guys, I'll keep you uh, updated guys okay cheers take care